In this video, we are going over how to drive at a defender and make him nervous. I'm going to be showing you some clips and some examples of players doing this, and then I'm going to show you some drills you can do in order to get better at this skill. Essentially, what this means is being incredibly direct. Now, I usually imagine this happening on the wing with a winger driving directly at the defender. Now, this is incredibly effective because a defender has only one of two options usually if you start running directly at him or running quickly towards goal or down the wing. He can either dive in and try and take the ball away from you and he runs the risk of you knocking the ball past him and then him being left in the dust or he can contain you, but if he contains you, that's going to give you a lot of ground and get you further up the pitch, and you still may beat him either way. This is something that defenders hate. They do not like it when people run directly at them because it puts them on the back foot, and it means if they make a mistake, it could mean catastrophic results for his team. That's why this is so effective, and I'm going to be showing you some clips from Anthony Martial doing this, and you'll see how nervous the defenders get when he runs at them, and you'll also see how it effectively gets him into goal-scoring situations or into situations where his team has a goal-scoring opportunity. So here's Anthony Martial, someone who does this incredibly well. Now first notice when he gets the ball, he doesn't hesitate at all. He goes directly at the defender and he draws two defenders to him, which frees up the space for another defender. Now we're going to watch him here. Look at how he just turns and drives immediately. He occupies three defenders, which creates space for his other teammates. Here he's going to do it again, right at the defenders. He's got two of them occupied. He beats the one, comes inside, beats him again, and then he's gotten his uh, team further up the pitch. In this one, he does even better, takes on the defender, beats him, crosses it in, and almost gets a goal. This is something that makes defenders really nervous and creates chances for your team. And here we go again, plenty of space, he drives right at the defender, beats him. And I want you to notice something about this play in particular. Look how he occupies three defenders because they're nervous. They know he's dangerous. They know that him running at them is not a good situation. So three of them are drawn to him. That creates the space for Juan Mata. He passes a simple ball to him and he scores. This is another way that this can be so dangerous because you occupy so many defenders. And if, as long as you can get the ball to your teammate, or exploit the space, you've now taken more than one defender out of the game, which means your teammates are free to do other things like score the goals or set up the chances as well. So because he's so dangerous when doing this, you can see all the defenders are backing off when he does this, and it creates the space for Juan Mata in the middle because he's occupying three defenders at one time. So an easy way to practice this is to simply practice your speed dribbling. And what you want to do when you do this is you want to practice dribbling at speed but keeping the ball in close control. Also practice pushing the ball a little further out in front of you but still having it within stride and in control. Now a great drill that I really like I call Pac-Man when you do this. You'll need an 18 yard box and you're going to alternate between dribbling as fast as you can and pushing the ball further out in front of you and dribbling at a good pace but keep taking small little touches. So what you do is every Every time you hit a corner or a line, you're going to switch technique. So as you can see in this, I'm moving slowly with small touches in the first technique. I hit the line and then I sprint all the way to the other side. And then again, I take small touches and then I sprint again. So each time you hit a line, you're going to change techniques. And this is great because you're getting used to both the techniques. You have to turn quickly and you have to keep the ball within close control. Any drill that incorporates this is going to help you with this area. And this is something you want to be practicing because if you're driving at a defender, there may be times when you need to slow down and take quicker touches. And there may be times when the space is available that you want to push down in front of you um, in order to exploit the space. However, you don't want to push it too far out in front of you and you need to know how far you need to push it so that you can beat the defender. Defender. If you're pushing it way too far ahead of you, you're going to lose the ball. And if you're not pushing it far ahead enough, you may also lose the ball or you may lose the space that was once available um, to you. So you want to practice this often. Um, as you can tell, Anthony Martial absolutely has because every single time he drives at defenders, he's always in complete control of the ball, even though he's dribbling very, very quickly.
Okay guys, thank you for watching this video. This is just an example of how to drive at a defender and make him nervous. Just remember with this technique, it takes a lot of practice, but it's well worth it, especially if you're a player that dribbles at uh, defenders often. This is a technique that makes defenders really nervous, and I'm sure a lot of defenders can tell you that if you ask them that they hate it when players drive directly at them because it becomes a very risky situation for them. So this is absolutely a technique you want to get good at. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know if other videos like this that you want me to do please like and share this video if you got something out of it um, or if you um, learned something also make sure you subscribe to simply soccer for daily soccer tip technique and training videos just like this one i'll also put two other videos on the screen so you can continue to watch and become a better player all right guys thank you once again and i will see you tomorrow at 5 p.m for the next video